Bill uh, Bill Clinton is is on the bandwagon now, calling us calling us violent and racist. And I, I want to challenge everybody, you know, because I, I do a lot of interviews on the Tea Party movement, and 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 or, or you know, sometimes you, you hear people talking about it in public or at, at, at a coffee shop or, or uh, you know here on campus. There, the only instance of violent racism that there has been at a Tea Party was against a Tea Partier. Has anyone here ever heard of uh, Kenneth Gladney's story? Yep. Two gentlemen wearing SEIU purple uh, shirts, presumably SEIU members, ganged up on him the day that the White House said, when you challenge Obamacare, we're going to punch back twice as hard. He was there at a tea party. He was in remission from leukemia. He has diabetes. He was handing out Gadsden flags. Two SEIU thugs beat him and hurled racial slurs on him. It's absolutely disgusting. The media ignored it. Media Matters, the, the leftist watchdog ignored it. Politicians ignored it. And the folks in St. Louis tried to sweep it under the rug. And for them to then turn around and have the audacity to call us racist and violent is absolutely disgusting. They try to say we're fake, we're, we're astroturf. That's what psychologists call projecting. Organizing for, organizing for uh, America put Craigslist ads for people to go to rallies for it was 10, 15 bucks an hour. Acorn, of course, you, you may have heard of them. When they're not, when they're not uh, conspiring to set up uh, sex trafficking rings with, with underage girls. Did anyone here come, be, come out here because somebody paid them to? Did George Soros tell you to come out? Of course not. You're here because you care about getting our country back on track. You believe in limited government, individual liberty, fiscal responsibility. And folks want to call that radical. I'll tell you what's radical. The idea that they want to put a bureaucrat in between you and your doctor. The idea that they want to tell you how high you can have your thermostat in your own home, or what kind of car you can drive. What kind of light bulbs? Did, you, did, you, did people know this, that the normal light bulbs are going to be illegal in a few years? <laughs> Woman over there is going to be selling them on eBay. You can, you can get her cards later. <laughs> How much air you should put in your tire? It's a whole host of issues. It's about control. It's about control. And as a lot of people have been saying, we need to stand up to this. We're, we're, we're a free nation of free people. David Axelrod said this is unhealthy. What could be healthier than American citizens coming in off the sidelines, waking up, and getting involved in the political process? And I really think that's the message to take away from today. Rallies like this are fantastic. You hear from some, some interesting speakers, and we had some interesting candidates that are going to be running for office, and you get to meet some people in the community that are, feel the way that you do that you might not know and you might not have met before. But the next step is taking back our country through on the local, state, and federal level. Go home today. Talk with your neighbors. Talk about issues that are affecting in your community, your state, and the country. Get out there and vote for candidates that are actually going to listen to you and actually going to stand up for the will and interests of the people. If there's one thing that this movement has shown, it's that anybody can make a difference. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Saul Alinsky and rules for radicals Ooh. warns of an inevitable counter-revolution to the radical ideas and tactics he espouses. Yes. What Hillary Clinton wrote her, her uh, thesis on at Wellesley and what many folks in the administration are, are using as their playbook today and, and, and many folks on the hard left. 
We are that counter-revolution, ladies and gentlemen. So get out there, get busy, God bless, and remember, real change starts with you. Thank you, John. Everybody check out his book, A New American Tea Party.